Okay, Chicos. So today we are continuing our study of Latin American countries. By the end of class, you should be able to, in Spanish, say a little bit about Mexico. Now, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of information in fairly simple expressions. And some of it is going to repeat. It's going to repeat on every slide. There's one big starting expression that has probably the most new language in it. True. Yeah. I don't. So that one expression that starts every slide, we're going to take really slowly on the first slide. We're going to learn what the words mean. We're going to do a little action for them. And then as we get to each new slide, we're going to do that one phrase, read out loud and with the actions together. After that phrase, you'll get some new information about the country in Pais. And I'll make sure that we understand that before we move on. All right? Okay, chicos. So this sentence here is the one we're working with. Sabia que, and did you know that Mexico tiene, Mexico has, un patrimonio cultural que se ha extendido por todo el mundo. Now, some of these words we know. What's a word in there that we recognize? Is that just that first sentence? Cultural, cultural, que, todo, which is whole or all. Tiene has, Mexico, extendido for extended. Now, anybody remember mundo, the world? Maybe that one? <laughs> oh, aquí está mundo. We're going to see país, country, or países, countries, a couple of times in this. Um, now, here's the one, patrimonio. That's the one that, that's new to us, probably in English and in Spanish. There is an English word that is a cognate with patrimony, and it pretty much means, in this context, something like heritage. So we would interpret this as, Sabias, did you know that Mexico has a cultural heritage that has extended through the whole world? That's what it's going to be. So I want you to do the actions and say the words after me. All right, eyes over here, or over here. Repitan, por favor. Sabias que, sabias que, México tiene, México tiene. Okay, I've got about 80% of you doing the actions and saying the words, but I need 100%. 100%. 100%. Start it over. Sabias que, Sabias que México tiene, México tiene un patrimonio cultural, cultural que se ha extendido, que se ha extendido por todo el mundo. Por todo el mundo. Turn and tell the person next to you what that one sentence means. Tres, dos, uno, silencio. What was patrimonio cultural? A cultural heritage, yeah, something like that. that that's what we're going to interpret it as today. Close enough. Okay. Here's the new information for you. Eyes on me. La cultura de México se ha extendido en parte porque es muy grande. Y está muy cerca de los Estados Unidos. No está 
lejos de los Estados Unidos. Está cerca de los Estados Unidos. ¿Por es cerca? Ok. Miren, chicos. México es muy grande en comparación con otros países hispanohablantes. Como, miren, Belice, uh, muy chiquito. Guatemala es pequeño. Honduras, El Salvador es pequeñito. En comparación, México es enorme. Chihuahua es una ciudad y un estado en México. Y Durango, ¿sí? Um, Veracruz, sí. Okay, so here we get our first sentence and we're doing it all together. Every slide, we'll say it out loud, we'll do the actions. Uno, dos, tres. ¿Sabías que México tiene un patrimonio cultural que se ha extendido por todo el mundo? La comida. Oh, I look here. No, you don't have to. After that first sentence, you just have to focus right up here. And on the rest of the slide, I shouldn't have to stop for transition. All right? La comida mexicana es famosa en todo el mundo por su delicioso sabor y recetas. Uh, sabor es taste or flavor. Recetas es una lista de ingredientes y preparación. Sí, recipes. Okay. Ah, es un poquito de un cornado, sí. Un poquito. México es admirado por su comida vibrante y auténtica. Turn and tell the person next to you generally something about la comida. Mexico, Three, two, one. Okay, chicos. En la foto, en la foto hay cuatro, hay cuatro salsas diferentes. Ustedes necesitan identificar las salsas. Una salsa. Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo es tomates, cilantro, cebolla. ¿Qué es cebolla? Onion. Y sal. Es pico de gallo. ¿Sí? Guacamole. Chicos. Silencio. El ingrediente más importante del guacamole es aguacate. Repítalo, aguacate. Aguacate. Muy bien. ¿Otro? Salsa, salsa roja. ¿Sí? ¿Qué es? ¿Cuál es el ingrediente principal de la salsa roja? Sí, tomate, sí. Y un café. No es pesto, pero el color es igual. ¿Qué ¿De qué color es la salsa? Es verde. Pues, es salsa verde. Sí, salsa verde. Sí, señorita. Ok, silencio. Atención aquí. This is where you need to do self-control. You do not have permission to be speaking right now. 
unless you raise your hand and I call that. Es un tomatillo. Tomatillo. Uh, they are called green tomatoes in some places, or tomatillos. Um, estas son flautas. Si es un taco frito. A fried taco. That's so good. Wait, what's the dressing on top of it though? Like, what was the green Okay. Clase. Uno, dos, tres. Sabías que México tiene un patrimonio cultural que se ha extendido por todo el mundo. México es uno de los países es uno de los países más visitados del, del mundo. Es uno de los países más visitados del mundo. Um, el segundo país oh, perdón. Es el segundo país más visitado de América. Los Estados Unidos es el primero. Ok, de turismo en las Américas. Uh, México es el número dos. Los Estados Unidos es el número uno. ¿Sí? Es una sorpresa. Canadá, no. <risa> Ok, aquí hay tres fotos de destinos turísticos típicos en México. Aquí es un pirámide o ruinas. Aquí la costa, la playa. Y aquí la ciudad. La ciudad. Ok, chicos. Imagínate que tienen la oportunidad de visitar uno de los tres destinos. Solamente uno de los destinos. Levanta la mano si tú elegirías los pirámides. La playa. La ciudad. Si puedes, puedes broncearte en la ciudad caminando. Ok. Uno, dos, tres. ¿Sabías que México tiene? Un patrimonio cultural que se ha extendido por todo el mundo. En las regiones. Miren. Chicas. Ay, mí. En las regiones sur y central del país hay numerosos sitios arqueológicos como Teotihuacán, Chichen Itza y las pirámides circulares de Huachimontes. Clase. ¿En qué regiones? En México, sí, pero ¿en el norte de México? Sur y central. Sur y central. Ok. Aquí hay tres fotos de tres de tres pirámides. Este pirámide está cerca de la Ciudad de México. Este pirámide está cerca de Cancún. Este pirámide 
está en el estado de Jalisco, México. Jalisco está como aquí. Chicos, uno, dos o tres. ¿Cuál pirámide? Probablemente es el pirámide más alto. Uno, dos o tres. Miren las personas. Estos son chiquititos. Número uno, dos, tres. Yo creo que el número uno es el pirámide más alto. Ok, pausa. Levántense. We need a little brain break. Sí, no, perfecto. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead inside. Me too. What? What does that mean? Okay. This is a quick one. With one other person, I want you to play rock, paper, scissors five times. See who gets most out of five wins and sit down. Bandera estadounidense. 
Y cuál es la bandera mexicana? Okay, I have 50% of you responding appropriately, and the rest of you either distracted or just not choosing not to participate. That's not okay. I'm going to ask the first question again. ¿Cuál es la bandera estadounidense? Uno o dos? Dos. Dos. ¿Y cuál es la bandera mexicana? Uno. 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 Muy bien. ¿Cuál de las banderas mexicano o estadounidense tiene los colores blanco, rojo y verde? Uno. Uno. Mexicano, número uno. ¿Y cuál estadounidense o mexicano? Tiene estrellas. Dos. Dos. Ok. El final. Uno, dos, tres. ¿Sabías que México tiene un patrimonio cultural que se ha extendido? Por todo el mundo, la población de la gran ciudad de México es 21.3 millones. Es el área metropolitana más grande del hemisferio occidental. ¿Qué es occidental? West. west. There is a word in English, occidental, which also means west. What's the opposite of occidental or occidental? Purposeful. East or oriental. Oh. Okay. Ah, connections. <laughs> También es la ciudad hispano hablante más grande del mundo. Señorita. Grand. Yes. Grand or big. big. Yep. It, it depends on the context. Okay, chicos. Or great. Uh, what does it mean when we say it's la ciudad más grande. The city is very big. The city is the largest city. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so all of these things are right. The city is very big. It's more big. In this case, the best interpretation would be to call it the biggest. La ciudad más grande. The biggest city. Okay. Es un poco difícil ver, pero... La Ciudad de México continúa y continúa y continúa y continúa y continúa y continúa hasta las montañas. Es increíblemente grande. Muy grande. Enorme. Wow. Ok, chicos. I love you. We're going to review... For the little game. Oh, the game is called Two Truths and a Lie. I'm going to tell you two true things that we covered about Mexico today. And I'm going to say one thing about Mexico that is not true. At the end of that, I will have you tell me which was true and which was false. Which were true and which was false. Do not tell the people next to you when you hear the one that's false. Don't be like... That's the, that's the, her, her pants are on fire. I, I don't do that right there. Okay. Yeah, Wait until we vote. Fun. Okay. Chico, she's going to stop around with a telephone. That was a sick one. She's on all comms. Silencio. I got me. Okay. Opción numero uno. México es el país más visitado 
de las Américas. Número dos. México es famoso por el sabor de la comida. Número tres. La mayoría de los hispanos estadounidenses son mexicano-americanos. Okay. I'm going to repeat it one more time. And every one of you is going to close your eyes and vote. Okay. So, número uno. Can I remember what I said? Don't, don't tell me. Oh, yeah. Número uno. México es el país más visitado de las Américas. Número dos, México es famoso por el sabor de la comida. Número tres, la mayoría de los hispanos estadounidenses son mexicanoamericanos no cubano americano o argentino o mexicano okay cierren los ojos okay número uno México es el país más visitado de las Américas which one do you think is a lie Heads down. Número dos. México es famoso por el sabor de la comida. Heads down. Número tres. La mayoría de los hispanos estadounidenses son mexicano-americanos. Okay, chicos, turn to the person next to you. Tell them what you voted for and why. <laughs> okay, chicos, what was number one about? What did it mean? Mexico is the most visited country in the Americas. True or false? False. Oh. So, what is the most visited American in the United States? U.S. Okay. Number two, Mexico is famous for its very tasty food. The flavor of its food, yes, true. And number three, the majority of American of Hispanic Americans are Mexican Americans. True. 65%. Okay, now let's bust out our notebooks. We're going to write. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to be so fun. Thank you. That's wonderful. This will be so fun. Look at Blue. Oh, my everything hurts. It's the same. Oh, shit. Okay, chicos. So, these, these, we're writing paragraphs. These are the expressions we're going to use when we're going to transitional phrases. We're going to, yeah, but this is going to be an information paragraph. You know, in the past we've done description paragraphs, but now we want to start kind of putting things in order. And the modeling that we do here does not just apply to writing informational paragraphs in Spanish. It is also good for you when you're writing in English. So we've got, there are three things, first, second, third, and then to conclude, we're going to say it's important to know. So we're going to start with there are three things, but what do we want to say, there are three things what? There are three things to know about Mexico. There are three interesting things. Three epic things. 
Interesting. Interesting. I like interesting. Knowledgeable. Yeah. I said knowledgeable. Okay. Oh, you know what? Before we go, we need to tie the shoes. Mexico is a good country. Mexico bad. Why? Wait, wait, hey, wait, I agree with what she said. What is the. What's, what's, what was this? Uh, 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 in Spanish, uh, me. Uh, okay, let's go Why is this a Kozik? There are three things. Okay. And these Kozaks. Yeah, stuff for things. Yep. So there are three things that you should know. That you should know. That you need to know. There are three interesting things you need to know about the world. Wait, can we do like here are three? Why does that sound like a question? Okay. Okay, hay tres cosas importantes que necesita saber that you need to know. About Mexico. Hay tres cosas importantes que necesitan saber sobre México. Yeah. Okay, our next transition phrase is primero. First. Chicos, somebody tell me one idea food. that stood out to you. Food. Okay, what do we want to say about the food? The food is really good. It's really good. It's delicious. It's flavorful. Even some Style of food. Okay, I think we've got it. How about? The, the Mexican style of food is famous for its flavor. Traditional flavor. It's famous around the whole world. Around the whole world for its recipes. traditional or authentic. We use authentic, authentic. flavor. Okay. Let's do. La comida mexicana es famosa por todo el mundo por su sabor no. It's primero. Anybody remember how we say second? Okay. Otra idea. There are in my hand. You have read your hand. Hey, yeah. The places to visit. Okay, like the tourist yeah, destinations. Like, yeah. What were the That's ones um, that were so. that were in pictures, Bailey? Oh, um, the city, 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 well, let's. Do we use. 
We use sites, sitios, para visitar. Okay. Hay muchos sitios para visitar. Como ruinas, las playas y las ciudades. Love that. You want to see my watch? What does tercero mean? Yeah. Third, third, yeah. third. Okay. Primero, segundo, tercero. If you've got an idea that you think would be great for our final thing to know about Mexico, raise that hand. Large comparison to others in American countries. Olivia? 65% of people are Mexican American. Or Mexican American, or wait, 65% of Hispanics living in the US are of Mexican descent. Do that. Do that one? Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, we can combine them. Or is that too much? No, that's too much. We don't have enough room. Okay. How do we say the majority? La mayoría. De los. How do we say um, uh, United States? Uh, yeah. A really, really yeah, you got these pieces, you guys. De los hispanos estadounidenses son mexicano americanos. Nope. That's something else. Quitters never quit. I quit. I don't know how that would be. What words is that? I quit. You're going to give up on writing to that word. Don't make it one word. Keegan, do you have the whole thing written? Through Albany County? Good. Are you fast writing? Are we doing notes tonight? We have one more sentence to write. Oh, cool. I can't read it. Okay, we got to do a while. Okay, you got to give me. I'm going to click on this side for like one second so I can remember. You need the important I need sentence. the slide. It's important to know. Okay. <laughs> it's important to know. Cool, I like that. It's important to saber. It's important to know. Okay, here she goes. Before I even ask for hands up, I think we can tie in. Something like from that opening um, sentence that we kept repeating. Because of the. Uh, it's important to know. The cultural heritage. Has a unique cultural heritage. That one? Yeah. Yes, we'll do that one. <laughs> Mexico. Oh, we can't. Yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Unico. This is a really good paragraph, you guys. Don't pack up yet. We're going to read it together out loud. I'm just going to maximize it. You do not have permission to pack up. Okay. 
Repitan. El búho. El búho. Este es un búho. Ok. Uno, dos, tres. Hay tres cosas importantes que necesitas saber sobre México. Primero, la comida mexicana es famosa por todo el mundo por su sabor auténtico. Segundo, hay muchos sitios para visitar como las ruinas, las playas y las ciudades. Tercero, la mayoría de los hispanos estadounidenses son mexicano americanos Attention to the front, girl. Es importante saber que México tiene un patrimonio cultural único. Muy bien, chicos. Great paragraph today. Now you have to do it today. Come on.